Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. Thank you so much for being here. This is actually going to be a little different of an episode than we normally do, because I'm going to talk about one specific aspect of this movie, and one specific person who's working on it. Uh, we've done episodes before where we looked at the IMDb page, and we looked at the cast and the crew, uh, and then we, you know, I go back to those whenever I get a chance. And actually, Comic Boys, who I'm going to put a link to their channel down below, um, and I, hopefully you guys still make some videos, because I watched the two you had on there, and they were pretty good from five months ago, so if you guys are watching this, make more videos uh, but everyone I'll put a link down to their channel down below comic boys um, basically they were like hey did you notice on Tom's Instagram that he posted a picture that uh, with the hashtag of Maddie Maddie lives and I was like I didn't notice that or maybe I did and I didn't think about it um, as as being a reference to this person uh, so I didn't notice it in that regard so a uh, big shout out to comic boys for noticing that uh, but what I noticed was because I go like every two or three days I go back to IMDB page and I see what they update on the Venom page and I saw that they updated the cinematographer so Maddie Libs is I guess what Tom Hardy calls uh, Matthew and his last name is a Libatique and, uh, and Matthew has worked on some amazing movies. But before we get into what he's worked on, I'll tell you real quick what a, a cinematographer is. Uh, the definition, I guess, of the cinematographer. And I have it here right here for you guys so I don't screw it up. A person who oversees or directs photography and camera work in movie making, especially one who operates the camera. So a lot of times these uh, directors, uh, you know, who get all this credit for visually stunning movies and stuff it's because they usually work with really great dps director of photographies or cinematographers and those are the people who have a really good eye for things they can uh, focus in on the drama where it needs to be they could help paint a picture if you want this you know beautiful shot of something um, or if you want a, a more personal shot and then it's also deciding what should be a personal shot and what should be you know the big ah uh, moment you know kind of thing and so cinematographers help out in that regard a lot. And they work with the director very closely. And, uh, and like I said, you know, they operate the camera too. So this job is just, you know, a lot of times when you see movies that are up for best picture or best look, you know, the, the, it's up for best visuals or something in a film, a lot of times it's a cinematographer working with the director and that combination um, making something beautiful on screen. So Matty uh, or Matthew has worked on some really great films. And a lot of these you're gonna, when I say, you may not even like the movie, uh, but you may go, oh, visually that movie was awesome. And uh, and I'll just list off a couple here. Uh, obviously, he announced as Venom. When I saw his name on there, I was like, holy crap. And then Comic Boys were like, hey, we saw that on Instagram. So it's like, that's awesome. I'm glad this got revealed because, again, it's just more things that are like, it makes me interested in this movie. Like, how did they get these people involved? The script must have been really good to get Tom Hardy involved, or at least good enough to where he could go, I could do something with this. And then Ruben Fleischer, who directed Zombieland, you know, like, I'm like, that's such a great team. Now, you know, Michelle Williams, Woody Harrelson, and then behind the scenes, getting all these talents, like Matthew here, uh, who also worked on um, The Circle. He worked on Mother, which came out recently with Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, he worked with Straight Outta Com on Straight Outta Compton with Ryan Coogler, uh, which is great. That movie looked amazing. Um, he's also done uh, stuff with Justin Timberlake. Um, he's uh, had done worked on the Cowboys and Aliens movie. He worked on Black Swan. He works with Darren Aronofsky a lot. He worked on Black Swan. Um, he also worked on like Requiem for a Dream, uh, The Fountain, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. I love that movie uh, so much. Hugh Jackman is great in it. That movie's just freaking awesome. Uh, and then he also was the director of photography at Iron Man and Iron Man 2. Uh, this guy has a great resume. Uh, and if you go back, he worked with Exhibit, a rapper that I used to really like. Um, and uh, when Incubus attacks, uh, yeah, Requiem for a Dream. Uh, he has a uh, Pi. He was the director of photography on Pi, uh, Aronofsky's a movie. Uh, so there's a lot of great stuff on here. And he's he definitely has an amazing resume. So um, I will put a link to his IMDb down below. You can check out all the other stuff he worked on because maybe you'll see other movies that he list that's listed and other projects that he worked on that you might really like. But I would say this gets me excited about the movie. I think the movie now will have a really interesting look. Um, this is a very like art house kind of guy. He's done Iron Man. He's done big budget stuff before, but even those movies look really good. And, and Iron Man, I heard all kinds of stories from the set of that movie, how it felt like a, like a college first time film, like a lot of it, cause they were like writing on the day of filming this, you know, Iron Man one and two were made before Disney even got involved. Uh, they were just made by Marvel studios and, uh, and they were trying to hire smart. And I think they did a great job with Matty, uh, Libatique. And so to see him on here, is awesome. I think that gives me a lot of hope for how this movie's gonna look. And uh, and hopefully we'll know that very soon if we see a trailer. A lot of people ask me when we're gonna see a trailer. Maybe we will for the Super Bowl, maybe we'll get a teaser there. I feel like when I think of marketing a movie, especially one like Venom, 
They already know that the hardcore fans are going to go see it, or they hope they do. So they need to, you know, promote it to the uh, the mass audience. They need to get it out there too. They need to put trailers on, like maybe WrestleMania or something, or something like like an event like that. They need to put, uh, you know, get magazine, get, get interviews in like magazines that you know outside people, maybe outside of comics, might read. They need to do a, a bunch of stuff like that. Um, and so uh, so I'm thinking maybe Super Bowl. I don't know. I hope so. I hope it's soon that we at least get a teaser so that way we can get a sense of maybe how the movie is going to look. Uh, I think that's what a lot of people are, are wondering now is we've seen behind the scenes stuff, but now we want to see it finished and put together in a nice little package for us. So that's what my thoughts on that. Uh, for those of you asking about, you know, possible trailer, hopefully Super Bowl. Uh, I think that's a pretty good time because that's like six, eight months before the movie comes out. Um, but doesn't give, you know, maybe just a teaser so it doesn't give too much away. But I also know the Super Bowl is very expensive to promote on. So maybe they'll just wait for like the next Marvel movie, Black Panther or Avengers Infinity War. That seems like a good place to put your trailer too because everyone's going to be going in and seeing Spider-Man with the Avengers. That's going to sell a lot of tickets. And that might be a good place to put your trailer as well. So I don't know. We'll see. But Matthew Libatique, let me know what you think of that down below and check out his IMDb page for the other great works he's done. Comic Boys, thank you for that. Thanks for the information. I really appreciate it. All of you guys, thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Peace.